last episode I talked about uh, integrating Bootstrap to make the site look better. Uh, but one thing I realized is before we do that, uh, we really need to focus a little bit more on uh, Git and source version control because if you are building true enterprise application, then you're not going to want to do a major change such as a big redesign or anything like that on what's called the master branch. Uh, if you're not familiar with Git at all, the master branch is where everything that's live is shown. And so if you're working with a team on this, the way you would usually do it is you'd create your own individual feature branches and then you'd uh, slowly merge them together. And so that's what I'm going to show you how to do in this episode. Uh, using Git is be, uh, is or some type of source version control is really becoming required for any professional developers nowadays. So uh, it's really important that you be able to learn this because it's going to be something you'll be using a lot. And the more you use it, the more you like it. Even if it feels a little bit weird at first, I think you'll like it eventually. So um, the what I'm going to show you how to do is. I'm going to show you a couple things in this episode. One, I'm going to show you how to create a branch locally and then push it up to GitHub. And then I'll also show you how to revert changes. So say you make a bunch of changes to a file, it turns out it broke the file or it caused some problems. I'll show you how you can quickly use Git to revert back to that, which is something I use on a very regular basis. So um, for the first thing, I'm going to show you how to push up a branch. So say we make... Uh, we open up the uh, the console here, and to check to see what branch you're on, just type in git branch. You can see there's only one branch, and it's the master. And so to create a new branch, just do git checkout dash b, and then call it anything you want. So we can say just testing branch, and hit return. And you can see it says it switched to a new branch called testing branch. And so now we have the ability to play around a little bit more with this code. And then we're going to be able to push it up and have something uh, different. So if you come up to your GitHub repository and you'll see if you click on this master dropdown, you can see there's only one branch right now. And so what we're going to do is be able to make some changes and then push those up. So say that we wanted to come into the views page and uh, come into the about us section and say, find me in or find me anywhere. Uh, this doesn't actually matter. All I'm doing is showing you exactly uh, how to you know, changes in one branch don't affect the other one when they get pushed up. So uh, we can close out this file and see, type in git status, and you can see that something was modified. And so we're going to say git add space period, then git commit, and just say testing out branch and hit return. Okay, so that's now been committed. So now if you do git status, you'll see that there's nothing new to commit. And so now to push this up, you want to type in git push origin, and that's just uh, the name associated with your system, but do, just do git push origin, uh, origin, and then type in the name of the branch. And so we're on testing branch. And uh, one thing that's really nice about Nitrous that you don't have if you're working in a local environment a lot is it actually has the name of the branch right here in parentheses which is nice because when I'm developing locally on my system uh, it doesn't have that in there so I'll usually have to you know, remember what the name is and here it's nice and easy so uh, all you have to do is hit return and it'll ask you for your github username and password And it got pushed up. So now if you come up to your repository, hit refresh, come to this master branch, now you can see that it pushed up our testing branch. So on master, if we come to app, views, and, oops, oh yeah, that is right, uh, welcome, and about, you can see it has this file right here. It says welcome, find me in, 
app views and has all that information right there. Now, if uh, I'm going to open this up in a new window so you can see the difference. So that's on the master branch. Now if we come here and we come down to the testing branch, then I can come to app, views, welcome, about, and you can see this code's different. So what we pushed up, pushed up only to this branch, it didn't affect this right here. So if we're to come back to the console and push up to Heroku, it's going to push the master branch. And so anything we're doing here on this testing branch won't affect that at all, which is really nice because it uh, allows you to, you know, push up different uh, or play with different features and not affect the system. Uh, if I'm working on a specific feature that may take a few days or a week or even longer, uh, I'll put it in a branch, build it out so that it's not actually affecting uh, the other work that's being done on the site. Uh, and then I can just merge it in afterwards and I'll show you how to do that. So um, I'm going to come back to Nitrous and do get status so you can see where we're at. We're on testing branch, type in git, check out master. So say that we finished our feature and we're ready to merge it into the master branch. Now all we have to do is type in git merge and then type in testing branch. And so that updated it and now the, uh, the master branch has those changes. So if I do git status, uh, it's right now ahead of the origin master. So all I have to do is do git push And now let's go and take a look at our master branch. So come back, we're on master, hit app, views, welcome, about. And you can see our master branch now has this. And if we were to push up Heroku, obviously you would see the, the new about us section. Uh, it's not there yet because we, um, we didn't push up to Heroku, but th uh, that's where you'd be able to find it. So, that is a, a very basic but a, a very powerful tool to use. And the more you use it, the more you'll get used to it. I don't even remember the last time I built a feature that wasn't on a different branch. It, I, it makes you feel a lot safer when you're working. You're not afraid you're gonna destroy the whole site <laughs> if you, you know, make a few mistakes. Now, all that being said, what happens if you do make some mistakes and you wanna revert back? Uh, there's actually a, uh, a really, really nice and easy way to do that. So say we were to come and make a big mistake. Uh, let's see, what mistake do we want to make? Let's come to the application file and let's just delete everything. This would obviously be a very bad thing. So now let's, we try to open up our site and we don't have a site anymore because it all got deleted. The calls got deleted, everything. That's obviously not a good thing. So if you do get status, you can see it shows that we've modified this app views layout application file. And if we want to just revert those to the latest, uh, to the previous version, it's very easy. And it even gives you the instructions right here. Uh, so all you have to do is type git checkout space two dashes, make sure you do two dashes, and then you just give the name of the file and you have to give the full route. So you do app, views, layouts, application, dot html, dot erv, hit return. And now if you do get status, you can see that it's all good to go. Now what happens if we come back to this file? It actually returned it all for us. So Git remembered and stored exactly what where the file was at previously. It created a snapshot of that. And when we said, "Oh no, we don't, we don't want these changes right here. We don't like this modification," uh, it said, "Okay, you can revert right back to it." When you do Git checkout dash dash and then the file name, it reverts back. Now, if we come here, hit refresh, everything's back to normal. So that's just some quick ways on and. and
some tips on how to use Git in a day-to-day uh, -day type work environment. Uh, we'll start using this kind of approach for the rest of the application just so you can get in the habit of using branches and uh, and you know, building the application that way because it's considered a little bit more of a best practice in the industry and I want to make sure that you know, you're fully versed in all of those techniques. So in the next episode, we're going to start adding some great styles to the application.